Hello, my name is Bhaskar. I am a tutor at CrackSat. Uh, what we are going to do today is look at a very simple question in sequences and series. Right? Uh, this is an arithmetic sequence question. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the question and do a bit of concept on arithmetic sequence and solve this question. Right? The question given to us is we need to find out the 24th, 24th term of an arithmetic sequence. Given data points, we know what the 11th term is and we know what the 31st term is, right? These two data points are given to us. Now, before we get on, as I mentioned, we'll quickly look at what an arithmetic sequence is. Here's an example sequence, right? 4, 8, 12, 16, right? This sequence is said to be in an arithmetic sequence. Let's define an arithmetic sequence. An arithmetic sequence can be defined in one of these two following ways, right? One, the difference between any two consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence is always the same, right? Look at this. The difference between 8 and 4 is the same as the difference between 12 and 8 is the same as the difference between 16 and 12. So this difference between any two consecutive terms is called the common difference of the arithmetic sequence. And this is usually represented by the letter D, right? So in an arithmetic sequence, this D plays a crucial role. The entire sequence is defined based on what value the D takes, right? There is one other thing to worry about, which is the first term of the sequence, right? So any sequence in an arithmetic sequence case is defined by what is the value of the first term and what is the common difference, right? Now, we'll quickly see how do we find out the second term of an arithmetic sequence. I'll pick the first term, add a common difference to it. So I'll get the second term. If I need the third term, I'll add the common difference once to get the second term and again to get the third term. So if I need the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first term and I'm going to add the common difference n minus 1 times. To get the second term, I add it once. To get the third term, I add it twice. To get the nth term, I need to add the common difference n minus 1 times. So here is the formula to find out the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, the nth term Tn is equal to the first term T1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Right. We'll start looking at how to solve this question. Right. What we'll do is initially we'll express both the 31st term and the 11th term in terms of the first term and the common difference. Right. The 31st term T31 will be equal to the first term T1 plus here n is 31, so this is going to be 31 minus 1 times the common difference. Right? So this value according to the question is equal to 169. Let's number this equation. Let's call it as equation 1. Now let's find out the 11th term in the same way. The 11th term is equal to the first term plus 11 minus 1 times the common difference which is equal to 29. Right? So we have expressed both the 11th term and the 31st term in terms of the first term and the common difference. What we have is two equations and the two unknowns in these equation, one is the first term and the second one is the common difference. So we'll solve these two equations as a simultaneous equation and arrive at the value of the first term and the common difference. I'll write the equations once over, right? T1 plus 30 times the common difference is equal to 169. I've essentially captured the gist of the first equation this way. And the second equation is T1 plus 10D is equal to 29, right? This is the second equation. What I'll do is I'll subtract the second equation from the first equation. So what we'll be left with is the first term gets cancelled T1 and T1. 30D minus 10D is equal to 20D and 169 minus 29 is 140. So we can quickly find out that the value of D is equal to 7. I'll substitute the value of D as 7 in the second equation. So what I'm left with is T1 is plus 10 times the common difference is equal to 29. So T1 is equal to 29 minus 140 and the value of this, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have to probably go back. This equation, I'll rewrite it. I made a mistake. T1 
is equal to 29 minus 10 into 7 is actually a 70. I made a mistake. Right. So this is equal to minus 41. So we have got the value of the two unknowns that we had in the equations. The common difference D is equal to 7 and the first term T1 is equal to minus 41. All we need to do is write an equation to find out the 24th term. Right. The 24th term T24 therefore will be equal to the first term plus 24 minus 1 which is 23 times the common difference. We know the first term is minus 41 and the common difference is equal to 7. So this is minus 41 plus 161 this is equal to 120. So the 24th term of the sequence is equal to 120. Having done this this way, we will also quickly look at is there an alternative way of doing this where we can cut down some of these steps. Right? Here is the alternative method. What we will do is see the 31st term and the 11th term, there will be 20 terms in between these two terms and in an arithmetic sequence, the difference between any two consecutive terms is the same. So, between the 31st and the 11th term, there are going to be 20 common differences. We know the 31st term is 169. We know the 11th term is equal to 29. This is equal to 20 times the common difference or 20D is equal to 140. So, compute the value of D as 7 without really writing the equations for T11 and T31. Having done this, we will say one more step. We will actually not find the first term. We will find out is there a way of finding out the 24th term from the 11th term. Right? The 24th term will actually be the 11th term plus it's 13 terms removed from the 11th term. Each term is removed by a common difference. So it's going to be 13 times common difference more than the 11th term. The value of the 11th term we know is 29. The value of the common difference we know is 7. So 29 plus 13 times 7 will be the value of the 24th term. This actually is 29 plus 91 which is equal to 120. Right. I would I ideally recommend you to go about it in this method. Right. Thank you.